Good morning, good morning. It is 8.31. I woke up around 8. I am about to hop in the shower because my hair is gross and I have an audition I need to shoot later today. This audition is one of the ones, um, I found it on a Facebook group and it's a paid one that actually says it will work around the actor's schedule. So I thought that was pretty cool and the pay rate is pretty awesome. So they specifically asked though, ah, for your reader to not be your own voice recorded, which is normally what I do. So I'm actually hopping on a call with Kendall at 1.15 and she is going to be my reader. So, so yeah. I am still trying to solve the mystery of what in the world is causing my neck to like seize up is not, not at all the right words, but to be in pain. And I'm thinking, thinking it's tied to stress. I know. But I say this all because yesterday at work, we had just like a moment where things got a little like crazy, you know? And all of a sudden, my neck acted up. And then it was hurting for the rest of the day. Not too, too badly, but it was definitely like in pain for the rest of the day. So I was like, okay, what is happening here? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. Thankfully, my shower helped a little bit, um, but it was weird because I woke up with it too. So I think that was part of the reason. Plus I needed to like, at the time when I was vlogging, not when I was in bed, but before that, I hadn't had dinner yet. So I think I also just needed like sustenance. And I also was like my head more my neck, once again, radiating up to my head was hurting. So it's just weird. Like I can't, I can't figure it out. I don't know if I should go to like a chiropractor and like, I don't know. So this is my current hair situation, but it's, we're just gonna work. Yeah, I it. thought about writing, like starting to write my pilot today, but huh, what? No, it's just a chill day. I watched the Catching Fire and the two Mockingjay movies on Netflix because they're here for the month. I didn't watch the first one because I've seen it many, many, many times. This truly is, this is like peak young adult book to movie adaptation so far. Like cinema, so good, so good. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna chill, just Definitely Hang glad out. I have the opportunity to have a relaxing day today because, I mean, I filmed the audition I needed to, got that sent in, but I had another one of my random flare-ups that has to do with, like, my, I don't know, intestinal issues. That's not the right word for it, but, hi, oh, cat butt, sorry, um, which and I don't know if I've said this on here before, but I'm pretty sure my grandmother basically had it, my mom has it, and I basically have it. And we, well, we know my grandmother's was div diverticulitis. I have said this on here before. Now I remember this. So I had just one of those kind of flare ups today, which always makes eating the rest of the day harder because I'm always kind of afraid it's gonna flare up again, even though I try to stick with, um, you know, like very, which I normally eat very plain food anyway. Um, but you know, very much try to stick to that. Um, and so anyway, uh, but that also means it's hard to get protein in. So I'm sitting here on the couch and I'm like, wow, I'm like, why am I tired again? And then I realize, oh crap, it's almost 4.30. And all I've had today is a little bit of one of the pound cake the small pound loaves that I brought home from work and goldfish and the goldfish were not until like 1 p.m or so 
And then it was after the, that was, it, I flared, it flared up after that. And so now it's like 4.30 and I was like, crap, I didn't actually, I was hungry when I ate the goldfish and then I had the flare up and then I wasn't hungry anymore. And then once the flare up was gone, I was hungry again, but I was like, am I hungry enough to eat? And then when I started like losing energy, I was like, okay, I, I need to have something of protein. So I'm warming up some chicken nuggets right now. Um, so yeah, let's hope that's plain enough. And now I am just watching the first Hunger Games film because I don't really feel like playing my game until I have some more energy. So yeah, I certainly hope I'm not coming down with anything. I don't think I am because I was feeling totally fine earlier today. And I think it's just a not so great mix of this was sort of, it's been a crazy week. And so this was my day for recovery. And then I flared up on the day of recovery, which, and I'm like, okay, that just was not the okay, plan. Okay, well, sort of scrap that idea because I had literally peanut butter crackers. I can't tell if it totally flared, but, or if it was just my anxiety of it flaring that maybe made that happen. Um, see, I had Hunger Games on, but I didn't pause it. But, like, that's a thing that sucks. It's like, I'm hungry. Like, <laughs> I'm hungry. I want to eat something, but I can't, apparently. Of course, it's when my chicken nuggets are done, too. So, I'm just going to put those in a plastic bag and put them in the fridge. Because I really don't want to waste them. Meanwhile, there's this whole dramatic Hunger Games thing happening behind me. But anyway, I guess I'll just drink a lot of water. I was reading online though that a drinking lots of water and a high fiber diet can help like prevent diverticulitis attacks. So needless to say, this wasn't full, but I'm literally just going to sit here drinking this. It is currently pouring down rain here. Today's what, Friday? Oh, the bakery's closed by this point. I was gonna say they're probably not not busy right now. Okay, so it's like 10.30. Thankfully, I am fine now. I don't know why the flare up lasted a lot longer than it normally does. And by that I mean like, not consistently, but like it flared up in smaller increments much longer than it normally does, which is weird. Um. But anyway, maybe it was just because it hit like right around lunchtime. So I was hungry. And at that point, you don't want to go too long without eating something because then that can cause other problems. And so maybe that is kind of the issue. Anyway, I am all good now. Thank goodness. Very thankful for that. Um, and I played a little bit of my game and had a very fun time rewatching all the Hunger Games movies today. That was a very nice way to spend today. Um, I might even put them on tomorrow while I'm working. Just because now that I've seen all of them again, I'm less... <sighs> less likely to, like, not say pay attention to them. But you know what I mean? And since there's four of them, that's actually... Each of them are about two and a half hours long. So I could get through probably, like, half, all the way through half of the last movie. Which is nice. Um, yeah, it just reminds me how much I love that book series, the way they did the movies. Like, I actually think, and I think I've said this before, I don't know if I've said it on the vlog, but I, there are parts of me that actually enjoyed the way they did Mockingjay, the last one, better than how it's written in the books. Because, mostly just because of Katniss's character, in the book, I had a hard time connecting Katniss's behavior with the Katniss that we've come to know in the first two books. Like, I understand that, you know, some terrible, you know, awful stuff has happened, but awful stuff happened in the first one, you know, in the first one too. So I was like, I'm not really understanding why, like, she's acting the way that she is. Um, so I feel the movies do a better job of, of representing the trauma that she's gone through and is going through, but also sticking with who she is as a character. Whereas the books just, I don't know, I didn't get that same sort of feeling. 
But anyway, oh, I forgot, I don't have another light on. Ah, so yes, I'm heading to bed. Um, I also meant to say that so far, I have been enjoying my two new skincare things. Um, I think I see a little bit like less redness and stuff, but I'm okay that I don't notice a huge difference because I don't have the cleaning bar yet. And that's like actually the big cleaning part. Um, but I definitely think my face is very moisturized and I think that, well, the toner would be what would help even out the redness. And I've definitely started to notice that I think a bit on my chin that it's a little less, it's less red most of the time. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this crazy ups and downs and all over the place vlog. Very glad I took a shower this morning and that I got the audition done. Cause, and then the rest of the day I just had to chill cause that was, that was nice. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed all my social media is in the description. Love you all.